everybody. Welcome back to Jackson World of Wildlife. Now today I'm on the hunt for the largest Ponderini tribe ant in North America. What I'm looking for today is the Texas bullet ant or hairy panther ant, otherwise known as Neoponera velosa. Now these are super huge primitive ants uh, that deliver a heck of a punch and hopefully we can find some, we can find a few colonies, find a few females and get a nice sting video. There's lots of colonies in the area. I've already seen some workers out and about. So we're gonna check on some of these big mesquite trees and hopefully, fingers crossed, we get exactly what we're looking for. So let's go. So typically where you'll find these ants is along these larger tree trunks foraging for food. Not on this one that I can see, but it's nice and overcast and warm. So they should be very, very, very active. All right, so there's a pretty nice mesquite here. I'm hoping that this is gonna have some Neoponera workers on there. It looks like a nice old growth mesquite. That's exactly what they're looking for. So let's climb in here. Now these are super large and very territorial. So I really wanna make sure I know exactly where the nest is so I don't stick my boot in there and get 30 stings instead of one. Oh, guys, now that I've totally looked over here, take a look, take a look. Beautiful yellowish iridescent hairs. This is Neoponera velosa. Look at how they are coming after me. Look at that. Antenna, flaring, mandibles bared. <clears throat> this is the hairy panther ant or Texas bullet ant. By far one of the most intimidating species of ant in Texas. This is our largest stinging ant by far. <laughs> Look at those. So typically this is where they're gonna nest at the base of trees. And you can see here's an opening here. There's also an opening back up this way. And these pellets are actually beetle frass, beetle poop which I think to be the rare Megasoma vodi. And we tried to dig some larvae up because they've never been recorded, but we weren't able to. So we're gonna pluck ourselves up a nice, pretty Neoponera velosa and make ourselves a sting video. Shall we? Oh, whoa, check this out, guys. These two females look to have captured a worker. Right. Take a look at how voracious these females are. Beautiful, beautiful ants. Take a look at that. Struggling and attacking this other one. Wow. Oh, take a look at this one. Bringing in a spider. These are extremely efficient hunters extremely efficient um, they're feeding primarily on proteins and sugars um, and they are quite adept at hunting other invertebrates okay so we're gonna try and get ourselves a nice female film our lovely sting video let's see oh oh gotta use my skills here Grab it onto me, not the other way around. Okay. Uh oh, she didn't quite. Look at that. Is that not one of the nicer looking ants you can find here? That beautiful iridescent color. They're wicked fast too. to get her off my hand without her stinging my hand though they have amazing eyesight i could just pin her like that huh couldn't i okay folks everybody ready everybody banana city okay one two oh my gosh oh she had different plans You 
know what? I'm just gonna grab a new one. Sorry, sorry. Oh, this is big. Okay. Now get a look at that. If you can see that stinger kind of coming out. Oh, she's flopping. Okay. And if, and if you listen really carefully, that little squeaking sound, she's stridulating. That's her making that noise. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's wicked cool. Oh no, I've got her by her antenna. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you by your antenna. Uh-oh, okay. Let's get our, let's get a good grip. There we go, that's what we were looking for this whole time. Look at that, guys. Look at that stinger firing out. And she's chomping onto these forceps. So without further ado, Three, two, one. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Whoa! Yowzer. That is, um, that's definitely the most painful stinging ant in Texas. Wow. Wow. Look at that. She stung me a few times. All those little red dots there. Are all where the stinger went in. Um, now, again, the reason we call these Texas bullet ants is because they are remarkably similar. So if you remember how, when we talk about bullet ants, their tribe and their genus is Paraponera, Paraponerini. Um, this means almost Ponerini. And that is due to the fact that they share so many similarities with the group Ponerini, which is what these ants belong to. But look at this already. Look at that. There's some bleeding under the skin. There's a big red patch. Um, this definitely beats, gosh, easily beats harvester ant, easily beats pachycondyla, easily even climbs up towards, uh, gosh, even tarantula hawk wasp. Uh, it didn't hurt this bad. This feels like somebody's just has a burning hot needle coated in lemon juice just right into you it's like it's it feels like there's a needle lodged in my skin take a look now you can see it's actually starting to welt up around these little entry points wow um they hurt a lot that's a characteristic of most ponerini um trap jaw ants um, all the panther ants, the, the, the hunting ants, I mean, they're all just packing a serious punch. Very, very potent venom, very fast-acting neurotoxin, massive mandibles, and they are usually ridiculously aggressive hunters. Um, yeah, take a look at it now. I mean, this is all within just a few seconds here. Look how that's welted all the way up. See how there's kind of like goosebumps around that area? Wow, that's super painful. Now what's really, really neat about these uh, ants is that they are what we call semi-claustral. So what that means is during the founding stage, um, there's two real major types of ant queens. There's ones that will dig into the ground, lay their eggs and wait for workers to hatch before they start being able to eat. And then there's other species of ants that don't have any storage in their abdomens really, and they have to go out and hunt the whole time. So that's what's super, super cool about these ants is not only are these colonies voracious hunters, but even when it's just the queen, she has to come out, hunt for food, and then bring it back to the larva that she's raising before she even has workers. Um, so they are wicked, wicked, wicked cool. Look now, this welt has kind of joined up. And I'm gonna see if I can put um, one of these ants on this bites because I love that look it looks really cool for the thumbnail so I've got oh yeah, yeah yeah that's the shot right there that's the shot oh man these are such beautiful ants too really really good looking ants Hold on, let me throw her back on there. Don't sting me. Don't sting me. Wow. 
one last time, folks. Oh man, I've got one over here. Uh oh, uh oh. My goodness. These ants are not really cooperating that well with me today. That's a good idea. I'll just flick them down on there. Oh, went a little too far. All right, I think that's probably really, really solid. Um, I've got another one on me somewhere. Ants in my pants. Where you see it? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Sure enough, sure enough. I don't know. Now I'm going to get stung. What the heck? Oh my gosh, guys, if this stings me on the back, I'm gonna be understanding, but quite upset. I don't think it's in there. Okay, thank goodness. Um, it must have fallen off. I hope. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at this nest. Look how they're, they're still bringing in some stuff. I mean, and you can take a look at these beautiful markings on these ants here. Look at that. Super hyperactive, super fast metabolism. These ants are no joke, guys. There's a reason we call them hairy panther ants, mostly because of this beautiful hairy sheen that they have, but also because they are voracious hunters. It is actually, look at this thing now, guys. Wow ridiculously painful ridiculous oh here she comes she's gonna run right by it oh never mind she changed her mind um let's see if we can sit her right by this now that it's looking pretty gruesome oh my gosh these ants man i tell you who even likes ants who even likes ants oh i do sorry Pick up a, a little hitchhiker. Uh oh, making them mad. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Are these not the coolest ants you've ever seen in your life? Oh, easy. Oh no, she's stinging my shirt. Don't, please don't. Flick it off. <laughs> oh, oh, is it in my shirt? It's on the back of you. Oh, here, flick that off. Got him. Solid. Appreciate you, brother. Um, But, uh, wow, that is super, super painful. I mean, now it's like, look at that. It's sensitive to touch as well. Oh my gosh, this really hurts. Look at the size of that welt. That's a sizable welt. And th this is from an ant that's really no bigger than maybe half an inch, about, gosh, 1.7 centimeters maybe. Um, they are a smaller ant, but really, really pack a punch. Now that again, they are one of the larger members of the tribe Potterini. Um, So they do have quite a lot of uh, potent venom, potent neurotoxin that they have at their disposal. Um, but uh, super, super interesting. I think I'm going to let this kind of, I think it's it's at, as worse as it's going to go, and then I'm going to update as we go forward. Um, I'm going to try and put some more up on this. Oh, guys, look, look, look. See this? This is, their, this is a cocoon here. See how they're moving that cocoon? Now, Ponerini specifically needs uh, dirt or dust or some type of medium, wood, um, in order to spin their cocoons as larvae. 
So they mix that up with saliva and they'll wrap themselves in a little cocoon and that makes it easier for these workers to carry them around. Uh, that's actually an adaptation that some ant species have, some ant tribes have, um, just to make it easier to carry the um, pupa around because it's essentially like a, uh, you know, a little reusable tote for uh, your fellow sister and or brother ants. Um, but really, really interesting. Take a look again at this nest opening. I'll clean it up, tidy it up a little. Look at those beautiful ants. Are these not some of the coolest ants you've ever seen? This is my all-time favorite species of ant here in Texas. And a little fun fact that I'll tell you about right now, and you can come back up to me. Well, a little fun fact I'll tell you about is that Neopotter velosa was actually the first ever sting video I ever made. I made it in 2017. Me and some buddies just filmed it, and I had no idea what it was going to do. Um, and uh, we posted on Facebook. I don't know if I could find it. Um, but it was super, super interesting. I don't remember it hurting quite this much, though. I was actually very impressed by these, uh, by these lovely gals here. This is really, really painful. Look at the size of that welt. I mean, ah, ah, look at that. Look, I mean, just look how red this is. And it's tight. It's still really, really painful. Don't pay attention to this. This is some kind of rash I got from laying down on the light trap. But this is all that Neoponera venom. Super, super impressive. Really, really beautiful ants. I'll update as we go. But I think we're going to let this colony relax not have to deal with me anymore and um yeah i'll let you guys know how this does but i'm very impressed this is definitely one of the top easily top five stings and or bites that i've experienced um similar uh to the bullet ant in terms of actual pain um, but i doubt it's going to cause the amount of swelling and sweating and um, just have the same duration as the bullet ant because again the bullet ant is about twice the size so very interesting very cool i'll keep updating as we go remember to like comment and share and subscribe because that's the only way i can grow and that's the only way i can do more videos for you guys if you enjoy them um but uh very interesting super painful definitely worse than the tarantula hawk and um i guess we're gonna see where it goes from here so stay tuned you don't want to miss what happens next Okay, so it has been about 30 minutes, but look at this, guys. Still really, really painful. Not as dramatic little pricks anymore, but um, still very, very swollen, very sensitive, very tight. Really painful. So it'll be interesting to see how long these effects last because I have a feeling they might last a while. Okay, guys, so this is about five and a half hours after the initial sting. Now you can see the swelling is almost totally gone. Um, it's still a little bit tender. It still hurts a little bit, but um, nowhere close to that initial, you know, first few minutes. Um, very, very interesting. I'm going to update tomorrow, probably at the soonest. Um because there might be some like discoloration tomorrow, but for the most part, um, this lasted maybe two hours, something like that, of decent swelling, about the same as what I showcased before. And then it's been like this for the past maybe two hours. I've been driving, so I haven't updated absolutely everything, but um, you can see those three major sting entrance sites. But, uh, pretty, pretty interesting, pretty, uh, regular. So we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Um, but all in all, it was, um, very interesting. Interesting. Okay, so this is about a day after the initial sting, about 22 hours. And this little rash, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think this is from the sting. I think I touched some bull nettle weed, but this sting does seem to be aggravating it because it went away when the sting 
when this big epicenter wasn't there last night, but now that this is swollen back up again, this rash is really giving me some problems. But look at that. This is very similar to what um, the bullet ant sting actually did look like. Um, if you guys uh, remember, or if you follow my Instagram, because that was before I posted a lot of the post um, results of the sting videos, but, um, there was a lot of just big kind of pink mat swelling. And then there's the entry sting holes. Super, super interesting. It's very itchy, um, but not painful anymore. It's just kind of it, hardly an inconvenience. Very, very cool. Okay. So here is the sting about two days afterwards. You can still see those three initial bumps there, but for the most part, totally, 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 totally gone. So super, super interesting, really nice, really cool. Um, very painful, a lot more painful than I thought, which was very interesting. And then as you can see behind me, my immense frog collection. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a frog tour soon. I'm trying to finish. I've got some spaces and tanks I'm trying to fill up, but I've got a lot. I'd really like to show you guys if you're interested. Um, but as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, continue to watch them, and I will continue to upload videos. Um, love you, bye.